Many teachers today are using Google Docs for collaborative writing activities. Sukwon Fung will describe how teachers can use Google Docs to create a space where students like to collaborate. Hi, this is Sukwon. In this segment, Huang and I will be simulating a collaborative writing project on Google Docs. In this simulation, we are students who have been tasked with a partner writing assignment, and we are using Google Docs to work on the assignment together. First, we need to create a new document. I will click on New and Google Docs. I will rename the doc so that we can easily find it later. Now I want to share the doc with Hong so that we can work on it together. I will click Share and type in Hong's email. I want to make sure that the share setting is set at Can Edit. Then I'll include a message and click Send. Once Hong accepts the invitation and joins the doc, an icon will pop up here. Next to that, the chat function becomes available. Whenever there's more than one person in a doc at the same time, the chat function is available. In the chat, we are planning the paper. I asked her what we should include in the paper so that I can start working on the outline. All of this happens in real time, so I can see when Huang is typing her reply. Once she replied with the components that we should include in our paper, I started typing out the outline. Once I finished the outline, I asked Huang for her input. She thinks it looks good, but she also thinks that it should be more detailed and fleshed out. I agree, so I went back into the outline to add in more details. Here, we're just working on building up the outline together. As you can see, all of the edits being made occur in real time too. So here, I'm just reading what Huang is adding to the outline. When I think of something, I can also edit the doc at the same time, even while Huang is typing. After we have a better handle on the outline, I started drafting our introduction. Now let's talk about the comment function. I finished the draft of the introduction, so I'm leaving a comment to get Huang's input on the draft. How I do that is I highlight the portion of the doc I want the comment to attach to, then I click on this button that pops up on the right. Likewise, Huang can leave comments on places she wants me to take a look at. I can reply to her comments like so. It looks like she's asking me for more information on this bullet point because it sounds too general to her, so I'm replying to her comment to explain my rationale. It looks like Huang has taken a look at my comment and responded. She provided an idea for us to incorporate my suggestion. Now that the issue has been resolved, I can click on Resolve over here. That removes the comment so that everyone in the doc knows that the issue has been addressed. Google Docs also has this Explore function that suggests related content for the doc. It pulls images and web pages from the internet that are related to our topic. I decided to search for something specific to see if I can find some resources for us to incorporate into our paper. I found a link to a Linda tutorial on how to use Coca, which is the tool that we are evaluating for this paper. I want to share this with Huang, so I clicked on the link to go to the web page, copied the link from the URL bar, and sent it to Huang via the chat function. With all of that being said, Google Docs is a great tool for collaborative writing. The chat, comment, and explore functions, especially, are useful for all stages of the writing process, from planning, to drafting, revising, editing, and finally, proofreading.